This video will show you how to replace the Nintendo Switch V1 or the V2 LCD. As you can see, there are shadows and lines which are not correctable by software. So, let's get started. Now let's turn off the console and disassemble it. And now get the syringe and wet the screen edges with IPA. Get the suction cup and place it near the screen corner. And then gently pull the screen. When you see an opening, insert the guitar pick to prop the screen. Rewet the screen edge if necessary. Don't insert the guitar pick too deep, as you could damage the touchscreen or the digitizer flex ribbon cable. I apologize for that 3M release liner, as it came from nowhere. But don't worry, as it has nothing to do with this process. And now lift the digitizer or the touchscreen carefully. Then you can release and remove the existing LCD from the chassis. Check the edges and clean the remaining sticky substance if any. Next, check the touchscreen for the sticky substance. If you think it is not damaged and can still hold the touchscreen to the chassis, you don't need to replace the glue. But if the glue is damaged, you need to use and cut this 3M9448A double-sided tape to stick the touchscreen to the chassis. So more or less, it will look like this. Remove the release liner from the double-sided tape. Get a replacement LCD, remove the back sticker, and place it to the chassis. Be careful with the flex ribbon cable, you don't want to damage it. Check for dust and liquid traces on the back of the touchscreen, and clean it with a microfiber cloth if needed. Remove the LCD sticker and place the touchscreen as soon as possible to avoid dust sandwich in the middle. And now let's assemble the console.
Then let's test the new LCD screen. If everything works fine, turn it off and continue to assemble the console. And that is how I replaced the Nintendo Switch V1 or the V2 LCD. It may not be the best method, but it worked. Thanks for watching this video.